Hey guys, Walkman86 here, and today I want to share with you guys some really cool art decorations that my friend discovered for me. Uh, about a week ago, last week, my friend called me up and uh, she noticed I collect comics and stuff, and she told me, hey, we got these four really cool uh, wall decorations that I think you might like. And she texted me a picture, and when I got the picture, I was like, wow, those are really awesome. How much are they? She said that they were $9.99 a piece. And I was like, I'll take them. And she actually bought those for me. And since she works here, she gets a 20% discount as well. So I thought that was really awesome that she did that for me. And I'll go ahead and show them to you. The first one is uh, X-Men number 97 wall uh, poster. And these are made out of composite wood, so these are pretty awesome. Uh, they're made pretty well for uh, for something like this. The second one is a cool one. It's uh, X-Men number 100. The third one, I thought this one was cool too. It's uh, Iron Man number 47, I believe. And I like it because they show the retro style Iron Man armor in this uh, in this particular poster. And then my most favorite one of them all so far is this one, Mason Spider-Man number one hundred. Who can't forget this cover? Shows everybody that Spider-Man has encountered up to that particular point. And then. Something else cool happened today. She she worked again today, and I actually got a call from her again today. And she she's like, "Hey, we got five more different ones. Want me to save them for you?" And of of course I said, "Yeah." So I went there. I went up there today, and I gave her the money and stuff after she got off, and she uh, purchased them for me. Uh, and I got that friend discount again, and. Let me show you what I got today. These are actually still wrapped. Incredible Hulk number 181. Now that's a cool poster right there. Captain America number 111. And I know you guys know I don't collect the uh, DC stuff, but the one exception is Batman, of course. Bat Everybody loves Batman. And I thought this one was really awesome as well because they show his main villains on there. Two-Face, Ruler, Penguin, Joker, Poison Ivy. I really don't know who these other three are since, again, I'm not a big DC fan. I just know the major key players. And I thought this one was really cool, especially because the color on this one is nice and vibrant like the comic is in mint condition. All the other Marvel co covers are made to be tattered and worn. You can see like uh, creases in them, which is cool too. I like that. It gives it a more uh, rustic look. Fantastic Four number 54. The humans from this one, Black Panther. I think uh, if you were to later, maybe Fantastic Four 56. Uh, it's Black Bolt's first full appearance, so that's uh, really awesome that you can see him here before that issue. And the final one for today that I've got so far at least. This one, Mason Spider-Man number 151. And these are also cool because they're, all, they're licensed by Marvel. And I 
wanted to know more information about these uh, posters. So I actually looked up online, I looked up about the company. The company that makes them is uh, Silver Buffalo LLC. So uh, I googled that, but I really couldn't find much information about these posters. But I did run, in, run into this one website where they were also a comic collector and they liked uh, comic stuff. And they were, they had a website or a blog. I, I'll actually link the website up in my video. And they were explaining how they also ran into these posters and they also loved them. So they were, they were on a scavenger hunt looking for them. And I think they found some at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. And I can't remember the other places, but. Basically, he only found like eight of them, and he wanted to know how many they were in existence, but he couldn't find no information about them, so he actually emailed the CEO of the company uh, inquiring about these comic uh, wall decorations, and the CEO actually emailed him back, and they told him, uh, go ahead and email this person, and they can help you out. So he did, and he actually got back a reply from that other person, and they sent him a, a list or a catalog, and they made over 40 different covers. But the thing is, uh, not all of them are available at this moment, or they were made in limited supplies. So they're kind of hard to find, at least all 40 of them. and. The website uh, shows some cool pictures of the covers. There's a Mason Fantasy number 15, uh, Batman number 1, uh, Action Comics number 1, a Giant Size X-Men number 1. So they have some really cool covers out there. So if you like these, just be on the lookout for those covers. Uh, and the thing is, the, the ones my friend bought me, she got them at Ross for $9.99. So, but I've seen them on Amazon for $16.99 and other websites going upwards to $20. So make sure if you do find them, uh, try and pay $10. But they are kind of rare from what I've read so far. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So once again, thank you for the cool comic videos you guys make. And thank you for watching this video. Volcoman86 out. Hey guys, one last important thing I forgot to mention was the other reason why I really wanted these is because for the longest now I've been wanting to display my comics on walls. But I live in Texas and my room has a, a really large window um, above my window uh, to describe it like that. I'll, I'll actually show you in a minute, but. Basically, the sun just shines straight into this room, especially in the summertime. This whole room is lit up until about 8 or 9 p.m. with intense sunlight. And the heat actually sometimes becomes unbearable in this room. If I have all my computer and TV running and stuff like that. And obviously that sunlight's going to fade and damage the comics. I do have a a little screen on the window that I'm talking about. It's It actually looks like this. That's what I have to deal with. And my computer is directly right there. And um, the sun just shines straight right there. And I actually want to hang a comic, or wanted to, but now I can actually hang a poster up there. And that's uh, my main purpose for buying these pictures. I thought it'd be, I thought it's an awesome alternative than to hang up a real comic and have it destroyed by the sunlight and that's not a thing that we want here. So once again, thank you guys for watching, Volcaman86 out.